everybody, welcome back to another video and this is another YouTube artist collective theme that we do every couple of months and this theme was World in a Bottle. And I thought I would do something a bit different for the theme of today's video and I am actually going to be self-critiquing this piece of artwork that I am drawing right now. So I'm gonna be pointing out the things that I don't really like about it and things that I want to improve on next time because as you guys know, I do a few different styles and this sort of non-realistic style isn't my usual style. It's something that I haven't practiced too much but it's something that I want to get better at. So to do that, like I said in my last video a few videos ago, I said it's really important that you self-critique your work and pick out potentially three things that you want to improve on next time. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today to show you guys how you can go about critiquing your own artwork so that you can improve and get even better. So just before I start, I want to talk a bit more about the YouTube artist collective and I'm sure you guys know already or if you've watched other videos on it you've probably heard what it's about. So it's pretty much a big collab between some of us YouTube artists and we pick a theme while you guys pick a theme and this theme was World in a Bottle and we basically all create artwork based on that theme. Theme. And so I'll leave a list in the description of all of the other girls channels so you can check them out and see all of their awesome work for this month's theme. So my take on the theme was a bit different. I originally was going to do something very much like a world in a bottle. I had a lot of different ideas but none of them particularly like resonated with me and I wasn't particularly interested in them. And I seen a lot of the other girls were doing a similar sort of thing where they were doing like different worlds in a bottle and I just thought well if they're doing that sort of thing then maybe I should try and do something different because none of those other ideas were particularly interesting for me that I was thinking of anyway. So I decided to go for something a little bit different and it's not really massively obvious to be that theme but what I basically had in mind was there was this girl and she had her husband, her soulmate and the love of her life who had recently died and been taken away from her and he was her whole world, she couldn't live without him and seeing as he was taken away from her she has now been left with like a massive hole in her heart and she's really really grief stricken and sad and so as you'll see in a minute I do bottles around her head and each of them are supposed to be containing memories and they are both happy memories, sad memories, angry memories of the two of them together, of their times together and she also has this heart bottle around her neck and as you can see that contains two scrolls of parchment and that has messages and phrases that he would commonly say to her, the things that she remembers the most about him, the words he would say and it was a bit of a dark thing, a bit of a darker side than I usually create my artworks based on, but I just really liked this idea. But that's basically what I decided to do for the theme, but now I want to talk a bit more about the things that I think I could improve on with this drawing, because I really wasn't like convinced that I wanted to even put this video out there using this artwork. I wanted to redo it, I wasn't happy with it, and I want to talk to you about why I wasn't happy with this artwork. So instead of me deciding that I actually wanted to not do the video, I thought it'd be better to be honest with you guys, instead of just always showing you things that I'm really, really happy of and proud of, show things that I'm not too pleased with and talk to you about why I am not happy with them and how I can improve on them in the future. So the first thing that I'm not happy with with this piece of artwork is the eyes. I think I was drawing it on a slight angle so I didn't really see that the right eye is a bit wonky, well they're wonky, the right eye is a bit higher and now that I pointed that out that's probably all you can now see. Once I told my fiance he just couldn't get over that, he didn't notice it at the start but I told him and now that's all he sees so I'm sorry if that's now all you see but I could just tell that it's wonky and that the anatomy of certain areas aren't right. And this is because I didn't use a reference for this drawing. When I draw realistically and I draw people, I use a lot of references and I do the proportions based on the reference photos and it's a lot easier when you have a reference to look to. But with this piece, I was in a bit of a rush, which is another reason why it didn't turn out great. And so I rushed it, I didn't look at references and so I didn't pay a massive attention to getting the proportions really good. 
And even though this isn't supposed to be realistic, so the proportions don't need to be 100% realistic, I still wanted them to look right. And the fact that the eye is wonky, that isn't a stylistic choice, that's just because I drew it wonky. And so in the future, I need to, with the next sort of drawings I do in this style, really focus applying more time into coming up with the initial sketch and making sure everything is in proportion and anatomically right before I go in and color it so that I don't get to the final stages of painting and realize the eyes are a bit off. So that was the first thing that I wasn't happy with. The second thing is the fact that I rushed the planning stage. So I didn't rush the painting stage, I took about three sort of hours on this, but I definitely rushed through the planning stage. So coming up with that sketch and my ideas for this. And so because of that, I don't think it is the best sort of version of the idea that it could be. And so in the future, I want to spend more time planning this. And the final thing that I'm happy with with this is the lines, both the the inking lines at the start with the black fine liner and the white gel pen. I thought they were very shaky, they're not clean, they're not crisp and they are rushed and I that's partly because I am not used to inking so much and it's something that I need to improve on but it's partly as well because I was rushing it a bit and I wasn't really spending much time making sure that those lines were really, really neat. And so the things that I'm gonna do to improve this in the future is make sure that I'm practicing lots of sketches where I ink lines because it's mainly gonna be a practicing sort of thing because I'm not used to having to ink lines that are permanent. I'm used to doing realistic drawing where it's a lot of soft shading. So doing those harsh lines in one try is just something that I need to practice a lot more of. But those are the reasons that I really wasn't happy with this drawing. I think it's not like really bad, it's not awful, but it's just not up to my usual standard and what I think it could have been. But I do like it in its own way, it is unique and I do like the look of her. I just think her eyes shouldn't have been so wonky and it would have made it a lot better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said, it is important to pick out three things that you can go and improve with your next drawing and maybe focus on one of those things at a time, not all three with your next drawing, but pick one thing that you really wanna focus on improving at. But if I didn't self-critique this piece of work and pick out those three things that were wrong with it, I just did it and said, oh, I didn't really like that and moved on without identifying what I didn't like, then I wouldn't know what I need to improve on for the next time. So the fact that I pointed out that the eye was wonky, that I rushed the planning stage and that my lines weren't crisp, gives me that starting point for things that I need to improve on in the future without me just doing artwork, not thinking it's good, but not identifying what needs to be improved on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, make sure you check out all of the other amazing girls' artworks. The links will be in the description. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. So drawing topics and tutorials as well. But that is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.